Oh, welcome back to Decentralized News. In today's video, I want to focus on a DeFi project, which is a, a privacy tool for Ethereum called uh, Tornado Cash. So uh, this is a very interesting sort of project for me. Uh, it is described more like a decentralized non-custodial protocol that helps crypto users to stay private when using public blockchains. So it is... Uh, um, a technology that uses smart contracts uh, that let users send deposits from uh, one address and uh, then withdraw the funds to another address completely, which is new, breaking the on-chain link between the funds. So the latest version of the project supports arbitrary amount uh, pools and uh, shielded transactions, allowing users to leverage the protocol as a designated uh, private wallet give us a like and a subscribe if you want us to keep bringing some of this type of content to you uh, so tornado cash is uh, like i said a decentralized non-custodial uh, privacy solution for ethereum and other, and other smart contract enabled uh, blockchains uh, based on uh, zk snack technology it uh, lets users uh, break the links in their own chain activity to improve privacy so uh, Tornado Cash uh, lets uh, users send Ethereum and uh, other cryptos uh, to a smart contract on Ethereum using one address, then withdraw the tokens using a different address. That uh, kind of uh, breaks the link between the deposited funds and the withdrawn funds. So to understand their value proposition, it is uh, very important to dispel the myth of uh, private crypto transactions, of course, because uh, on-chain uh, Public blockchains such as Ethereum uh, essentially, um, um, you know, let anybody uh, track the public blockchain's uh, ledger and uh, inspect the entire transaction history of uh, any wallet as long as they've got a public key. And uh, blockchain analytics firms uh, like uh, Nansen are in the business of doing just that as well. They analyze the Ethereum blockchain, flag specific wallets and uh, smart contract addresses and uh, trans translate uh, those uh, sort of uh, insights into um, easy to understand uh, information. So, um, you know, what's uh, another tool that people use is a uh, chain uh, analysis, uh, which just also scrutinizes public blockchains and uh, actually works with the uh, governments to flag and uh, track and de-anonymize uh, certain transactions or, co uh, or associates uh, or associated accounts that uh, maybe are said to have uh, illicit, illicit activities uh, tied to them. So while obviously blo public blockchain addresses themselves do not reveal uh, the identities of users, uh, individual wallets uh, can be de-anonymized uh, with some effort and also uh, sort of analyzed to extract all kinds of uh, information about those users. And uh, on-chain trans transparency itself can also have uh, uh, some pretty significant uh, security implications. So, for example, uh, with the traditional world, if a credit card uh, payment, let's say credit card payments worked like Ethereum transactions, that would mean that uh, all users have their account balances and uh, financial histories open to everybody. Uh, this could uh, reveal sensitive information such as uh, salaries or spending habits and uh, make those people also targets to criminals sometimes. So, uh, Tornado Cash is uh, focusing more on uh, financial privacy. They uh, explained uh, also that, you know, the uh, public nature of uh, blockchains uh, makes it that uh, much more important for uh, users to care about their financial privacy. And uh, it uh, uses these smart contracts to accept token deposits from one address, enables withdrawals uh, from a different address, breaking that uh, uh, on-chain link between uh, the funds that are deposited and the funds that are uh, withdrawn. So the legacy uh, version of the protocol is uh, operational on uh, Ethereum, uh, Binance, uh, BNB chain, uh, uh, Polygon, Gnosis chain, Avalanche, Optimism and uh, Arbitron as well. It currently supports uh, fixed amount uh, pools for six tokens, including uh, Ethereum, DAI, CDAI, USDC, USDT, 
and uh, rep BTC as well. So to sort of help uh, users preserve their privacy, Tornado Cash leverages a technology pioneered by the privacy-focused blockchain project Zcash, uh, which is called ZK Snacks and uh, otherwise known as uh, Zero Knowledge Succinct, Non-Interactive Arguments of our Knowledge. Uh, so zero knowledge uh, proofs allow one party, well, which is uh, usually the prover, to prove to another party, that is uh, the verifier, that a particular statement is true without disclosing any information apart from the fact that the statement is indeed true. In other words, zero knowledge proofs are an encryption technology uh, that lets one party uh, prove to another party that they know a secret without actually revealing that secret. So to understand why Tornado Cash needs these proofs in the first place, it's worth exploring an example of uh, what a typical transaction could look like. So let's say to make a Tornado Cash deposit, a user would have to first generate two cryptographically linked random numbers called a secret and a nullifier and then send the tokens alongside a hash generated from both numbers called a commitment to the smart contract. So a hash is the output uh, of a hashing algorithm, of a hashing algorithm, a one-way function that actually generates a deterministic fixed length result from a given input. So hashing algorithms are basic but uh, incredibly secure. Encryption tools are used extensively in our modern cryptography for anything from digital signature generation to sort of uh, password verification. So techno Tornado Cash itself um, stores the commitment record to uh, the user's deposit and later, so when uh, the user wants to actually withdraw their funds using a completely different address, they must then prove that they have a valid claim against a specific unspent deposit in the contract without revealing uh, any piece of potentially identifying information. To do that, they come up to sort of a tornado cash with a new withdrawal address and uh, two zero knowledge proofs. One proves uh, that they know a secret and nullifier whose hash matches some commitment recorded in the smart contract without actually pointing to a specific commitment so as to not sort of break that privacy. At the same time, uh, the other is the nullifier that links the, uh, that to a particular deposit. So because Tornado Cash does not know uh, who's uh, withdrawing, it needs the second zero knowledge proof to guarantee that the same user can't withdraw the amount that they deposited multiple times. It ensures that by uh, storing a hash of the nullifier inside the contract uh, and then uh, checking whether the proof provided by the user actually uh, matches against it. If it doesn't, the user can't withdraw the funds. If it does, the nullifier hash is marked as spent, uh, meaning that the user cannot use the same nullifier to withdraw funds in the future. Uh, due to uh, you know, uh, the one-way nature of hashing, it is impossible to link a specific commitment or deposit to another nullifier, but possible to uh, generate a zero-knowledge proof confirming a specific uh, deposit. So using this encryption technology, users can actually deposit funds to Tornado Cash using one address and then withdraw uh, to an entirely new address, effectively breaking that on-chain link between transactions and providing uh, more security. So Tornado Cash uh, also needs to take care of the transaction fees to ensure complete privacy. Uh, like all blockchain transactions, withdrawing from Tornado Cash requires paying transaction fees, which should be impossible when one is uh, withdrawing to an entirely new address. So Tornado Cash uses a system uh, or a network of so-called relayers that actually manage the entire withdrawal to solve that problem. They pay for the transaction fee by deducting them directly uh, from the uh, withdrawal and uh, charging also an additional service fee. So uh, if uh, Tornado Cash is used correctly and all instructions and tips are followed, uh, it is not uh, possible to de-anonymize uh, transactions. So, um, well, you know, so this is uh, quite an interesting uh, project. I mean, I could go on and on about it. Uh, you can also check out uh, what they call Tornado Cash Nova. Uh, and, uh, you know, also you can check out some of the criticism. Um, you know, some people have said that, you know, uh, this is only uh, a tool that is being used by hackers and scammers. 
uh, and stuff and uh, people that are doing rug pulls in DeFi. Uh, but of course, you know, it is a financial encryption technology, data encryption technology. I think, you know, just like most uh, things like Bitcoin itself, the people that tend to be the first to adopt are typically the people that might have uh, sometimes not the noblest of uh, um, sort of intentions. But uh, I mean, the underlying um, uh, technology itself is quite fascinating. So let me know what you guys think about Tornado Cash. Also, let me know what other content you'd like to see on this channel. Don't forget to check out links in the description to my books, Tokenized Australians and Blockchain Applied. They deal with real world asset tokenization on the blockchain. Go to navigate-digital.com if you want to learn more about how to do business online, free courses and everything there, and proudly associated if you want to promote your crypto project or help um, get uh, some help to do some market development. You can also contact us. Other than that, like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I will be seeing you in the next. Go to decentralized.news, our main site. Go get the best cryptocurrency exchange reviews, DeFi platform reviews, and a whole lot more. Peace.